So I'd like to talk to you today about one of the most basic concepts in leather tooling, and that is the beveler. Okay? It's one of the most common stamps used in conjunction with a swivel knife cut line. And it's used by uh, just about every form of tooling artwork that there is. Now, there are a couple of simple do's and don'ts, um, but let's just get into it with a couple of swivel knife cut lines. I'm going to do one nice straight cut, and then I'm going to do a nice curved cut like that, and then let's do a larger one. And then let's have a couple of straights that run into that curve. So what I've got today are two textured bevelers under the, what is probably the delusional hope that the texture will show up better on camera. Alright, let's get into it. I'm going to go with the large textured beveler. And I'm going to do this side of that straight line interrupted at that double cut line. Now I'm going to hold my swivel or my bevel stamp perfectly straight up and down, and I'm just going to rest it gently against the leather. I'm not allowing the weight of the tool to rest on the leather, I'm just allowing it to touch. Okay? And I'm going to tap and move very gently as I go. So tap, move, tap, move, tap, move. When you pick up the pace, it looks a little like this. Now because I'm not having the weight rest against the leather, I'm not tapping and then moving, placing, tapping, moving, placing, tap. I'm moving along like that, okay? And as a result, I'm going to wind up with far fewer tool marks than if I were tapping and placing. All right, so. Let's see if I can't get that in focus at all. We're going to do the same thing to the rest of the line, right there. Very few tool marks, and you can see a nice clear bevel along that cut line. Now, let's move to the smaller beveler. Again, it's the same texture. It's a, it's a, a light texture, not terribly noticeable. And I'm going to do the inside of this curve, just like that. And I'm going to rotate my fingers like I'm rolling it in my hand. Okay. Let me show you that again. Tap and move. Move along your line until you can't rotate your fingers anymore. Then rotate your product. And then keep going know what you're doing. Don't allow yourself to go over any lines or for your uh, beveler to drift across your line. Now I've got a little bit of squish here where this is now obscuring 
my first bevel. So I'm actually going to go back and just correct that very gently. Also, I perhaps haven't allowed this leather to case quite as well as I probably should have. Now, for these two lines, I'm going to show you how you use the beveler to sink a line for getting ready for backgrounding, which I'll cover in another video. And it's the same process. You take your beveler, I'm using the smaller one in this case, and I'm going to follow my line right there, just like that. Flip it over, and I'm going to keep doing it on the other line. Now that already looks very backgrounded, like the whole the whole line is already down. But if I wanted a nice crisp background up against a good line, you bevel first, and that's how that's done. And you can even do the end here like this, and that's really all there is to it. Bevelers are a very important tool in your tooling collection, and uh, having multiple sizes, multiple textures is a very important thing to have on your bench. Anyway, I hope this has helped, and uh, good luck out there.